Yes, this is not the easiest of questions, and some people look at this and just understand straight away, and some people really struggle. So what I try and do is talk um, the way through the graph. So we've got depth time. So the depth shows us how deep um, the um, pools are. So if you imagine this is just a big pool and it's filling up, and the higher the depth, the higher that it's filled up. So to start off with, um, we've got this section here, which means it's taking a long time to get to this point here, and it's not particularly going very fast. And then it's kind of, in the second stint, shoots up really quickly, and actually it gets to a much further point on the graph really, really quickly. And then it kind of goes back to a really lazy yeah, filling very, very slowly. So if I was to put words to that, I would say um, slow, then quick, then slow. So the steeper the gradient, the quicker it's going. So looking at these pools, we need one that goes slow, then quick, then slow. Now if you have a look at pool A, pool A will slow uh, fill up quite quickly and then just end really slowly because it's so wide it will end slowly so that's not what we're looking for pool b will start really quick take it a little bit more time here because it's got a wider thing to wider pool bit to fill and then end really quickly so it's quick slow quick we don't want that pool c though will start off really slowly it's got a lot to fill then have a kind of quick stint in the middle and then end really slowly. So the answer will be pool C, which matches our graph perfectly.